nasty dry bun. So I went with the brioche bun because it looked the most like the Krabby Patty bun. Just kind of a plain, simple cartoon bun, right? And then we got ground beef. We got onions, tomato, cheese. And I made them slice it double thick. So it lays on there just perfect. We got pickles, ketchup, mustard, and lettuce. All right, so these are the ingredients for a Krabby Patty. Let's put it together and try it out and see if it's as good as they claim it is. Trust me, since you're watching this video, it's not going to be as good as they say it is. At least not Jack's version, but welcome back. Me and my little puppy are going to watch this together. Surprisingly, she's actually in here with me for once. My little girl has finally come back out of her window to sit with her daddy for once. So if you're barking, it's because the little girl's getting upset at Jack's cooking. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, this is to get your patties ready, okay? I'm not putting anything in the meat. Just keeping it basic, okay? I'm going to season the outside in a minute. But first, I'm just going to make my patties. So I'm going to grab a chunk of meat, put it in there. Grab another chunk of meat put in there. Make sure we got our clean burger press all done. If you think you're going to be lacking in any meat, make sure you get enough in there. Take the press. Press it down. If anything comes off, like on the edge, just grab it and throw it back in the bowl. Okay, that means you had a little bit too much. Jack, that's a lot of work just to make a burger patty. Is it really that difficult to just roll it into a ball and then smack it in your hands back and forth until you get a decent shaped patty? Do you really need a patty press? Okay. I don't have probably the best burger press, but I'll tell you this, that I probably should have done nonstick spray in the burger press, but, but good burger press, the bottom comes out so you can lift the patty straight up. Unfortunately, this one doesn't, so I'm gonna have to finagle it out. Okay, before we pop these into the uh, refrigerator to solidify them a little bit, right now they're soft and gooey, so we're just gonna season them with the uh, best gourmet seasoning over taste. My Oh, great. No wonder what's in that. Seasoning. Make sure they're on each patty. So that when we put them face down, seasoning side down. You know. All a burger needs is salt and pepper. Nothing else. In the frying pan. Seasoning wise, of course, you need to put cheese and toppings on it. All we gotta do is season one more side. So we're gonna. It looks like he put oregano and there's no telling what else is in there. I mean, that's definitely not just salt and pepper, though. Put them in the fridge like that. Good God, Jackie. Leave some burger for the left. You're just going to be eating a seasoned patty. Like you're just going to eat seasoning. You can go heavy. You can go light. However you like. That's the way it should be. So here's where we're going to build our masterpiece. Right here. And as you can see, we have perfectly put all our ingredients right here to build on top of our beautiful burger. So now we have put our, we put our burgers in the freezer so it gets solidified a little bit faster jack didn't you say that you're not supposed to press burgers together too hard because they won't cook in the middle and it'll get dry and all this other stuff before it was rather him or gordon ramsay said don't push your booger <laughs> booger <laughs> your burger <laughs> it's a booger probably would taste better than this piece of crap jack is about to show us that's so screwed up i'm so sorry people <laughs> but um yeah let's just keep going like 30 minutes in the refrigerator, 10 minutes in the freezer. That's about it. Whichever one's better for you, wherever you got room. Let's go get our burgers now. Get a little oil. I forgot who told me that, that if you press your burger too heavily, that it'll basically make it where it'll like burn on the outside, but not cook in the middle or something like that. It's like you need it to kind of be a little bit loose. In the pan, give it some heat. It oh, might've been Jack, it might've been make Gordon sure Ramsay. I don't remember. So gas doesn't fill your kitchen. Go, let that heat up. Okay, grab your patty. It's been in the freezer or fridge for a few minutes. Take the seasoning stuff. It just looks like he sprayed literal poop on it. It's just so nasty looking. But that nasty seasoning that he puts on everything. I down. So you don't have to season that again. Like, let's put it this way. His seasoning is so bad that he used to sell giant tubes of it for $4 on his website. Free shipping. He was basically giving this stuff away because nobody wanted it. Put that there. Okay, this side still needs to be seasoned. Oh my God, Jack, that just looks rough. 
There we go. Alright, give it a flip. Remember the patties are thick, okay? You want to make sure you get a good out of stuff. I think he's going to prove my point in this video, by the way, that if you pack your burger too tightly, you're not going to be able to get it cooked in the middle without burning the outside completely. I may be wrong. Someone eventually is going to watch these videos and say, Johnny, he's a great cook and you suck. And I'll agree with you. But I make sure my burgers are still like cooked all the way through. I'm just going to put that out there. The episode he gives the recipe, the layers. I mean, seriously, go watch my other burger video where Jack literally put a fork into a burger that spurted blood up at him. It was that bad. Everything is the one where he, where the guy comes in, eat the burgers, and he says, this doesn't have any pickles. And he was hiding the pickles under his tongue. Do you remember that episode? Yeah. Well, if you don't, you probably don't watch SpongeBob. So anyway, he finally remembers the recipe. And he says, bun patty then he does lettuce then he does cheese which i'm not sure why but that's how he listed it usually the cheese order. on the patty but got to make this one right right take your onion place it right in there that's too much onion you need to cut that a lot thinner than that he's going to be biting into a raw onion that just sounds lovely Put your tomato right on top what of that look about baby my little girl is looking at me. My puppy, Dotson puppy. Doc shunned puppy. I don't care if you're almost seven. You're still my little girl. My sweet girl. She decided to finally come see me. Just a little bit of a tangent for you. Well, you can, if you want to see pictures of her, she's, uh, join my Discord because I have an entire channel on Discord where I just, you know, put up pictures of her and her brother all the time. But she's been up in her window. Like we have like a window that, is at the top of our couch and my dad's den and there's like you know we nailed up a blanket up there because we were too lazy to get real curtains and because we nailed it up there she turned it into like a a hammock kind of like you know where she lays inside of the blanket and you know looks out the window and for some reason well not for some reason but she saw i think like a family of deer out there one morning it was a mama and two babies and they were and the mama was huge and she freaked out like she was barking and snarling and mad and beating her feet against the window and all that and for almost a solid week she stayed in her window from morning to night waiting for those deer to come back and today she finally came back here and sat with me again so that's why i'm letting her just stay in here while i record then catch up she ain't hurting none she's just sitting in my lap just looking at me so pretty it's just I can't get too wound up and start hollering and screaming at Jack because she'll get upset and she'll swing that head at me and then she'll start, you know, hitting the microphone with her nose and trying to get me to, you know, stop watching the video, basically. She's a sweet babe. We should about to go sleep now. Catch up. My baby girl. And BB. Then mustard. He's too sweet. I want to get you in that puppy. Then pickles. Is it just me or does that lettuce look kind of stale or something? It's just so leathery looking. And then a bun. I gotta take pictures. There is the beautiful Krabby Patty right there. We're gonna cut this right now and give it a try. All right, here we go. Look at that. Zoom in if you have to. I can see it from here and I'm a mile away from the screen. That's raw all the way through if you look where my cursor is right here going along it or you can even look at the one on the plate that is completely raw look this is what it looked like when it was raw if you the, hold on i'll just skip it this is raw right on the outside and if we skip all the way to jack holding up that burger now you will see momentarily to try it's just like spongebob that it is just as raw as it was before like it's not cooked at all. That's not even rare. That's like not cooked period. Exactly what I said. He burned the outside, didn't cook the metal. Said, gotta do it the way he does it. He's the master of the Krabby Patty. Here we go. That is so nasty. Honestly, you gotta try it. That's nasty, Jack. That's just wrong. But you know what's not wrong 